What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dirk Chan. Today, I got lucky. Well, my significant other got lucky. She was able to get me a pair of the Kobe 6 Pro Tros, the reverse Grinch colorway, also known as bright crimson and black. So, uh, before I jump into this video, me and my girl, uh, we entered the sneakers app, raffle, draw, whatever you call it, to get these sneakers last Friday. Uh, I entered, she entered, um, both size 11, and she ended up hitting, I didn't get it. And then all my other friends, funny enough, their uh, female significant others also hit, so none of the guys got any. But here we go, we'll dive right into it. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the box. I'm just going to go over the box, then the shoe, what I like about it, what I don't like, and then do the on foot towards the end. So if you want the on foot, just skip all the way to the end. If not, stay tuned for the full review. I've only had these shoes for a week, and I already love them. So a uh, box, signature Kobe sheath, Kobe signature, very minimalistic box. Not a lot going on. Nike swoosh, and yeah, that's about it. Pop these open, single piece of wax paper, and bam, you got the Kobe 6 Reverse Le Grinches. So right off the bat, these shoes are very red. Uh, I wouldn't say they're a true red, they're more of a uh, hot red, I guess. Um, this is my first Kobe shoe that I've ever worn and ever wore and ever purchased. Um, and... I also was interested in the Kobe 8 Halos, but I didn't get those. So I got the next best thing, which are the reverse Grinches. So let's go over some details first. So you got the uh, lime green laces, nice padded tongue. I haven't balled in these yet. I can't wait to. I'm going to definitely wear these, play some uh, casual basketball. But just wearing these around the house, I love the fit of these. They really are snug to your foot. And I like the uh, cushioning technology in this. You could jump and not feel any impact on your knees. So that's great for uh, basketball. Uh, but start off the outside of the shoe, you get this nice snake-like texture. This is a mesh shoe, but they have these raised uh, scales to give it some protection and form. So for sizing, I'm a true size like 10 and a half, but I wear what, size 11 Ultra Boosts, size 11 Yeezys, and I went for size 11 in the Kobe's. So basically half size up for my normal size, and I absolutely love it. Um, just enough room to to wiggle my toes, but not so much that my feet is sliding when I'm actually wearing these and running around. Um, casually, they're fine as well. I wore these for like two, three hours, no issues whatsoever, just walking around the house. So for sizing, I would go up half a size from your normal size or a full size up from your normal size if you want a bit more loose. Uh, but half size up is perfect for me, right in the middle between too snug and too loose. So you got a nice black swoosh. You got different uh, shades of red all over the shoe. You got Kobe signature on the back. You got this nice glossy heel uh, cage. On the tongue and also on the inside, you get this nice, almost silk-like material. Feels really good on feet. Take out the little shoe tree. Ah, good old snifferoo. Inside, you get a nice insole with some print on it. Um, quite cushiony, not too firm, not too soft. Like I wore the LeBron 20s, 21s, and similar feel. So um, I actually. Usually wear like high top LeBrons to play basketball, but now I'm definitely liking the low cut ones. And after wearing the Kobe 6s, I'm definitely going to have to pick me up a LeBron 20 or 21 just for that low cut uh, mobility. Alright, going to whip out the other shoe for y'all to see so you can get a uh, full view of the shoe. There it is. Bada bam. Bada bam. Yeah, I love the look of the shoe. Hopefully they release the uh, regular Grinches once again. But that's pretty much it. 
check out the details on this thing. Again, I'm a casual basketball player, so, you know, I don't play any D1 basketball whatsoever, but these, to me, just wearing them around the house, I can tell these are going to be a great basketball shoe. Got the honeycomb pattern on the bottom, carbon fiber, and logo. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm glad I hit on the sneakers app. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Let's uh jump right to the on fit, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the top down view of the Kobe Six Reverse Grinches. I'm a size 11 in Ultra Boosts. A natural 10.5. I went once half size up. These fit me just fine for casual walking and whatnot. So my big toe is right about here. And my pinky toe is right about here. I still have a little bit of room to move around. Same thing for my left foot. Looking down, this is how these bad boys look. Bam! Bam! So from the top down, you see there's two, two tones of red. You got a darker red and a lighter red. Got some mesh material right here. This Kobe tongue is so soft. Nice and padded. Ankle area is also nice and padded. Bam. Bam. Check out them Kobe's. All right, let's go to the next view. All right, y'all. Here is the Ampa look at the Kobe 6 Reverse Grinches. Man, I love the color of these shoes. On court, when the light hits these shoes, man, that pop of color is insane. Definitely one of my favorite colorways of the Kobe 6s right next to the regular Grinches. But yeah, this does give you a decent amount of height, about two inches uh, off the ground at most. The, uh, I guess, pliability of the shoe, like the when you, when you try to crease it, there's not much uh, give there. So you definitely have to uh, wear it in a little bit. As you can see, as I jump on my tippy toes, there's not a lot of bend in the shoe. So it's very uh, sturdy at the moment. But the traction on these are insane. I have a wood floor here and I'm not sliding at all as you can see like I jump and when I plant I don't move at all any types of movements are are quick these shoes are so freaking light too definitely lighter than my LeBron 19s and I just cannot wait to play in these and see how much better I, I feel wearing a lighter shoe and wearing a Kobe 6 but yeah Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Ciao.